In this video, I will compare Flutter Flow versus 12-bit and tell you which of these no and low-code app builders is best for you and your project. So first, let's compare their key features and what kind of apps you can actually build using these tools. First, let's start with DraftBit. So you will see with DraftBit, you can build native mobile apps, responsive web apps, and internal tools visually and collaboratively. Source code included, so you are never locked in. Now, if we take a look at DraftBit's pricing, you will see that if you pay monthly, there is a free plan right here. And basically, if you do actually want to make your app live, then you will need to upgrade to the basic plan. So upgrade to take your app live. But what I like a lot is that you can build it for free. You won't get access to all features. But if you then want to actually publish it, then you can upgrade to the basic plan, which is for one live or published project. And you get 25 screens per project and you can publish to iOS, Android and web. Then in the Pro $79 per month plan, this is to level up for access to source code and custom code. So if you want to get the code export, then you will need to upgrade to this plan. Then have the team plan to add collaborators and more projects, and you will get access to a GitHub integration. Now comparing this to Flutterflow, Flutterflow is also made to create mobile and web apps. You will see right here in Flutterflow's pricing, they also have a free plan. And let's just set it to monthly billing again. You will see in the free plan, you can also start building and testing your application. Then to download your project source code, you will need to pay $30 per month. So you'll see here you get the code download. While with DraftBit, that is the $79 per month plan. With Flutterflow, you can download the code for $30 per month. But to actually make your app live, you need to pay the $70 per month plan, where you get the one-click deployment to Apple and Google App Stores. And then you can actually make your app live. You will also unlock the GitHub integration for $70 per month. On DraftBit, this will cost you $249 per month. So the pricing is cheaper on one of them if you just want to make your app live and you don't need to export the code. But Flutterflow is cheaper if you do want to download the code while you are still building the app and if you want to use the GitHub integration. So to give you a conclusion of which one I think is best for who and why, I think DraftBit is best if you don't have experience with building apps and you are looking for the easiest option. Now it being the easiest does mean that it does come with a little bit less customizability and advanced option. So if you are looking to get the most amount of control over your app and you're looking to build something really advanced and you don't necessarily want the easiest option but more the most advanced one then Flutterflow is best for you. Although Flutterflow is also definitely pretty easy to use. So that concludes this comparison of Flutterflow versus DraftBit. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.